Hi everybody, this is Hal Weeks, Stalking the Wild Auto Harp, coming to you from home in Burien, Washington, and i um, staying at home, staying safe, and everybody's healthy, and I uh, hope you all are too. Um, it's been amazing to see what's been going on out on YouTube and Facebook and uh, the internet in general and the response of uh, musicians uh, everywhere, both professional and hobbyists, and um, um, it's um, pretty humbling. Um, I am continuing on with my teaching series. I've made some changes, though. Um, I have recently pulled off about um, six videos from earlier this year um, for various reasons that I'm not going to go into here. It's kind of complicated, but um, I wanted to do a summary lesson, and this actually could be pretty valuable. I'm going to try to show all of the basic root motions of playing the auto harp in one place in one video, and that's today. So I don't want to take a whole bunch of time talking at the beginning, but just to show them because they're all involved in that little bit of I'll Fly Away that I just played just now. Um, and uh, first of all, things that you're going to have to know how to do when you start playing or learn how to do is um, uh, keeping a basic beat, um, feeling the pulse of the music, and then subdividing it in two, in four, and in three. And really, four is just like two, only twice as many. Um, let me give you an example. Two, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's the same basic feel. Um, three. So you're going to want to be able to do stuff in four or two and in three. And um, that's a skill that you may already have from other musical experiences, or you may just be starting out and need to learn how to do that. But I'm just telling you up front uh, at the beginning of your experience that that's one thing that you're going to want to learn. Then you're going to want to learn how to swing that beat because there's simple time, which is just basic back and forth. One and two and one and two and. But then there's swinging time. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. Which is a little bit like one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. Here, there's a little quick clipped note in there. It skips instead of marches. Um, that's called simple time and compound time. Simple time marches one and two and three and four and and compound time skips one a two a three a four a one a two so you're going to want to work that into your strumming as well moving right along there are several basic root motions that are used in playing the auto harp and i actually have videos on all of these root motions as part of a strum and I will refer you to them as they come as I come go over them and I will also link you to them in the comments section below so that you can jump right to those videos if you'd like to see them so the first one is what I call rocker and rocker uh, has two parts it's got a thumb pluck followed by a backstroke with the index finger so to start this out just strum or pluck with your thumb on the beat And then occasionally catch a backstroke on and. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that little backstroke is where you would say and. One, two, and three, four. One, and two, three, four. One, and two, three, four. Now 
I'm randomizing when I'm doing it, sometimes we, we will go. But the root motion is the back and forth rocking with the thumb followed by the finger. All right, so that is what I call rocker, and there's a video on it linked below. Furthermore, you can just keep the beat with your index finger. Notice that I'm plucking in various parts of the harp in a pattern. Like that okay and you can also mix that up with three four time two moving on after rocker where we're going thumb index thumb index we move on to Travis which is where you go thumb index thumb middle thumb index thumb middle now the thumb index is just rocker that's why rocker is a root this is like an extension of that or an outgrowth of that Thumb, index, thumb, middle, or shorthand, T, I, T, M, T, I, T, M. And you can mix it with single thumb strokes, thumb strokes too, just like when you're doing rocker. In just about any pattern you can devise, here's a 3 4 1. T I T M T T I T M T T I T M T T I T M. So that's the alternating strum that we call Travis. Thirdly, we have pinching, which takes the same two fingers as rocker, but just uses them together like this. And they can be combined with the other root motions too. Like here's Let's go thumb, thumb, pinch, pinch. Now, all of these motions have to be worked into your muscle memory, and I'll get to talking about that in a minute. Moving on, we've done uh, plucking with the beats, we've done pinching with the beats. Now let's talk about pinch pluck. Pinch pluck, instead of pinching here, you're going to pinch with your middle finger. And you're going to put a pluck in between. Pinch pluck, 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 pinch pluck. Let me remind you that if you go under the gear in the lower right hand corner, of the video, you can slow motion this so that you can see it all a lot slower if you want to see what I'm doing. And let me remind you that I have videos on all of these where you can zoom in and look at, spend 20 minutes looking at the one strum. Um, so I teach them each in depth in other videos. After Pinch pluck, pinch pluck, pinch pluck, pinch pluck, pinch pluck, which can be mixed with all the other root motions to create patterns. We have scratching. Scratching is, for some folks, the hardest one to pick up on because it gets you going backwards with your finger. And if you're not used to it, it's going to feel like you're going to pull your picks off. But the root motion is really this. Or you can do it with all your fingers. Like that. And that can be used in lots of different ways on the harp. The secret to doing it really fast, again, you can look at a longer video, but you got to go at a at a an oblique angle to the strings. So I say end up pointing up 
at the corner of the ceiling or up here at the tuning pegs. So you're going across the strings at 45 degrees, not 90, which is where you create real hooks that can catch on the back of the um, strings. So go up at an angle and also do it um, really lightly so that you're just lightly brushing. And I do this one in what I call the hamburger strum. Ham, burger, ham, burger, ham, burger, ham, burger, which is a thumb, flick back, thumb, flick back, thumb, flick back, thumb, flick back. Or if you're in 3 4, thumb, flick back, thumb, flick back, thumb, flick back. Thumb, flick back. Boom, chucka, chucka, boom, chucka, chucka, boom, chucka, chucka, boom, chucka, chucka. There's one last root motion that I want to show you. This is involves three fingers, and this is called arpeggio. You can start on your thumb and go T, thumb, index, middle, index, thumb, middle, index, thumb, index, middle, index, thumb, index, middle, index, T, I, T, M, T, I, T, M, T, I, or you can start on the middle finger and come down. When doing it this way, I like to pinch with my thumb at the same time I stroke with the middle finger. So I'm going pinch, index, thumb, index. Or P I T I T I T I T I T I T I T I T I T I T I which is an incredible secret strum for moving from playing melody with pinches to playing the arpeggio fill-ins in between the melody. Pinch, pinch, pinch for the melody. And then Pinching is also a root motion for playing melody. We're not going to go into melody playing in this video. I wanted to show you these basic strums and also tell you to work on each of these basic root motions for only about five to ten minutes by doing it again and again and again and again. Uh, maybe while you say some words to keep you on the beat, like hamburger, 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 or rocker, 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 so that you drive them into your muscle memory. Once you have all of these root motions, they will come out in various strums almost spontaneously. You can devise them ahead of time, or you'll just find yourself doing them, and they'll come out in really cool ways. And that's what I was doing when I was doing I'll Fly Away. And that's where I started, so that's where I'll end with I'll Fly Away. Bye-bye, everybody.